So in this video, we will make one more important observation when working with ratio and, 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 and that actually is very important when we are working with quantities which have different units okay that they are not in the same unit in that case how do we take the ratio so in order to explain you the importance of this let us start with a simple example the length of a house lizard is 20 centimeter and the length of a crocodile is 4 meter and I am interested in finding out the ratio of the house lizard the ratio of the length of a house lizard to the length of a crocodile so what do we do here we simply calculate the ratio by taking the first quantity which is 20 as the numerator that is the ratio of the length of a lizard and the crocodile is 4 so I just take this as the denominator so 20 by 4 and when we simplify this fraction further we get 5 by 1 or 5 is to 1 now what does this mean what does this mean this simply means that the length of a lizard is 5 times 5 times that of a crocodile or the lizard is 5 times longer than the crocodile now there is definitely something absurd about this because we know that the house lizard is, lizard is very small and the crocodile is long so there is a problem here and that problem is the lengths are in different units and that is where we ended up with something which was not correct now let us do one thing so we know that the length of a crocodile is 4 meter and the length of a lizard is 20 centimeters so what we'll do is we'll convert the length of the crocodile into centimeters that is the same unit as that of a lizard so 4 meters equals 400 centimeter okay because in 1 meter there is 100 therefore 100 centimeter 1 meters equals 100 centimeter so 4 meters equals 400 centimeter and now we take the ratio that is 20 by 400 which gives us 1 by 20 or 1 is to 20 now this seems correct okay so we know that the lizard is 1 20th of the size of a crocodile well this does make sense a lizard is 20 times smaller than the crocodile this does make sense so if I want to calculate it the other way around that is the length of a crocodile to the length of a lizard that is 400 by 20 we get 20 by 1 or 20 is to 1 which means that the crocodile is 20 times longer than that of a lizard which again makes sense according to our observation that a crocodile is definitely longer now one thing just one quick observation see in this case I say 1 by 20th and when we have 20 is to 1 we say 20 times so it's this is something that we need to understand so when you have a ratio where the numerator is smaller than the denominator we just represent this, this means that the quantity which is in the numerator or the quantity which is being compared right is smaller than the quantity with it with which it is being compared so putting it in simple words I can say this this simply tells us that the length of a house lizard is smaller than the length of a crocodile how much smaller it is 1 20th or 20 times smaller now the other case is where in this case what we have is that the numerator here is bigger than the denominator which is 1 which means that the quantity which is being compared is bigger than the quantity against which it is being compared it means that in this case we have the length of a crocodile okay and here we have the length of a lizard so the length of a crocodile is 20 times bigger than the length of the lizard so this is one observation when you have the numerator as the bigger or when you have the numerator as a smaller quantity in comparison with the denominator so having said that let us just re recapitulate what we learned from our earlier example in comparing the or in getting the ratios of the lizard and the crocodile two quantities 
can be compared meaningfully only if they are expressed in the same units very important if you have two quantities which are given in different units we should compare them into the same units and second thing is as i told if quantities have unequal units convert the unit of a quantity such that it leads to smaller numbers when we take the ratio this is for our convenience that we do the conversion in such a way that either the mathematical calculation that we have to do to calculate the ratio is easier or the resulting numbers are smaller so this was an important concept of comparing two quantities when we have different units